because regardless of what you did, they weren't going to like you anyway because it gives them an excuse to stay fucking average. Fuck them. Who cares about it? And one of the biggest regrets, which really hit home, and I want this to hit home for you too, was that we live in a world where comparison to other people is actually encouraged through social media and it ruins our mental health. It ruins our mental state. And this is simply because we start to care so much about what people think about us that we actually stop ourselves from being anything at all. And it was only when I really stopped giving a fuck about what people think was when I actually started to enjoy life more, make better connections and really step into my authentic self so that I could start to create a life that I really want to live. There's a couple of different ways I started to think about things that I want to share with you in this video in the hopes that it'll help you put yourself out there more. Stop caring what people think, become more authentic within yourself because really that is the goal. Like the goal of us becoming great human beings, becoming the highest version of ourselves is to stop caring what society thinks about us, stop caring what other people think about us, and then just live our life regardless. At the end of the day, there's going to be people who like you, there's going to be people who hate you, there's going to be people who love you, and there's going to be people out there who just don't care of your existence whatsoever. And this is a great thing to understand and accept because when we start to slip into caring about what people think, we stop ourselves from really truly being authentic. This stops us from growing our business. This stops us from creating authentic content. This stops us from actually having meaningful connections and relationships. So the goal of this video to help you stop giving a fuck what people think so you can become more of who you truly are. So one of the mental models that I built around not giving a fuck about what people think was actually leaning into the idea of debt. Now I know that sounds a little bit morbid and you're probably wondering what does that have to do with anything? Well, it has to do with everything. A number of years ago, I read a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. I've read the book twice. I've actually watched the movie. I think they have something on Netflix about it as well. And I would highly recommend it. He talks a little bit about debt and that. And when I started to see the big picture of the fact that we like to run away from debt. We like to pretend that debt doesn't exist and we start to act surprised when people die, when it's an inevitable truth. And when we accept that truth, it creates an urgency within us. And leaning into this urgency was something that dramatically helped me. There's going to be a day where you're going to cease to exist. There's going to be a day where you die. You're not on this planet anymore. And as morbid as this sounds, when you're leading up to that point, are you going to look back at your life and be like, I was pretending to be somebody I wasn't. I was being inauthentic within myself. There was someone out there, I can't remember their name, but they were studying the biggest regrets of the elderly. And they were looking back and reflecting on their lives, whether they were 100 years old or 90 years old. And one of the biggest regrets, which really hit home, and I want this to hit home for you too, was that one of the quotes was, I wish I had the courage to be myself instead of being the person that people wanted me to be. This really hit home because if that's one of the biggest regrets of the elderly, then it really just shows the mentality and the mindset of people where they want to fit in and they want to be accepted and they want to be liked by people instead of actually being themselves. And this is a journey, like don't get me wrong, I'm still on this journey the same way anyone else is, where I'm trying to be more authentic, I'm trying to be more of myself and always trying to understand what that is because we are programmed to try and fit in. And it's only when we start to remove limitations around that and start to question, well, is this something I really want? Is this something I really want to do? Is this something I really believe in? And if we start to ask those questions and we start to contradict the beliefs that we have, we can start to lean into more of what makes sense to us. So coming back to the idea that someday we're going to die, when I tied this into what the Stoics believe, which is meditating on death in itself, this really solidified this in my mind because as I started to practice some of these things that they were talking about, which is meditating on the fact that you're going to die. Again, it sounds a little bit morbid, but it's really, really effective because it creates this urgency within you to live your best life and you have limited time because that's the truth. I remember there was a period a couple of years ago where I was kind of going through this process and I would lie in my bed each night and I would do a death meditation. And I would sit there and I would put in something on YouTube where it would kind of walk me through what that would look like. I would start to see my family. I would start to see the regrets. I would start to see what it would look like if I was actually really going to die. And I remember there was sometimes there was even tears in my eyes. There was even like this overwhelming feeling and emotion of just complete gratitude that that is actually not happening right now, you know? And this was where I started to see the benefit of this kind of meditation. And when we start to see things for the way that they truly are and understand that one day we're not going to be here, it creates this urgency within ourselves to take massive action, to stop holding on to these limiting stories, to stop holding on to these limiting beliefs and step into the person that we are meant to be, create that new reality, step into that new identity and doing all of these things so that we can really stop giving a fuck about what people think about us and start living our best life and what's true to us. Now doing this, stepping into that person and not giving a fuck about things is going to come with drawbacks like anything. We're going to get hate online. We're going to get people who are judging us. We're going to get people trying to stop us from being who we truly are because people want you to be the same as them because it gives them an excuse to stay 
fucking average. When you are climbing up the ladder of success, when you are stepping into this new identity, there's going to be people out there who will do everything that they possibly can to stop you from climbing that ladder, stop you from becoming that true version of yourself and not caring. Because them seeing you do that indicates to them that there's a possibility for them to change, but they don't want to change. They don't want to do that the same way you do. So they want to pull you back. They want to pull you back down so that you're back on their level and they can see you as equal to them. And this is the paradox of life because there's so many people out there that just don't want to develop, don't want to move forward. That's completely fine, each to their own. But if you're somebody watching this video who wants to progress in life, wants to do more with your life, you're going to have to accept there's just people out there who are not going to like you and fuck them because regardless of what you did, they weren't going to like you anyway. We have to understand that there's going to be people out there who would just hate us for no reason. I even remember where there was a time in school where there was a lot of guys who were older than me who would hate on me. Every single thing that I did, they would hate on me. And it was just the most pathetic thing in the world because I would walk around and I would be confident within myself and they would do everything they possibly could to tear me down. And this was where I started to build some resilience around this because I realized that no matter what I did, people were going to hate me. I could be doing all the right things, people would hate me. I could be doing all the wrong things and people would hate me. Over time, I started to build this kind of callus around not caring what people think. And this really helped me progress in life because I could go out and I could do whatever I wanted and not care what people were going to think. Now, of course, this is an evolution process and it didn't just happen in one go. And I was definitely affected by some of these things at the time. It was more difficult than I'm probably making it sound right here, but that was part of the journey. So I invite you to just start to accept that no matter what you do in life, people are going to hate you and there's going to come a time where you're going to die. So you might as well become the best version of yourself now. You might as well be truly authentic within yourself so that you can live the life that you want to live that's true to you, that you are truly happy to live in. And by doing that, you will actually attract the right people into your life. The people are going to help you progress, but you'll also attract a lot of the people who are going to hate on you. That's completely fine. Fuck them. Who cares about them? They, they have nothing to do with your journey. They have nothing to do with where you're going. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid of what people think because you are never going to get judgment from somebody who is doing better than you. It's always going to be those fuckers who are behind you, who are not doing anything with their lives, who are going to try and pull you down. And remembering that is extremely, extremely powerful. The very last thing I want to mention on this is when you start to tap into your mission and purpose, when you start to understand that you are here to do something specific with your specific skill sets, with your specific attributes, you are here for a given purpose. When you start to align with that, you'll naturally start to move away from people because you are moving towards something bigger and better. And when you start to understand that that journey is the journey that we are all here on, and that journey is far more important than the opinion of some person online or the opinion of some old friend who's trying to hold you back, you understand that that purpose is far greater. And that will pull you towards this change and pull you towards that new identity. And that in itself is a powerful process because I have started to understand that as I move towards my purpose, I know that there's going to be people who are going to try and pull me back. That's part of the trade-off. But the more meaning I attach to the thing that I'm trying to accomplish in life, the more I just generally move in that direction and I start to, I start to lose people along the way. That's fine because they're not part of that mission. They're not part of that purpose. And that's okay. So one of the biggest things that I've allowed myself to do is to be okay with detaching from people from the past. And it's a hard process at times, you know, because there's a lot of people who are a part of your life and you maybe have been friends for a long time, but not everybody is meant to stay in your life forever. Everybody has their own journey that they're going on. And sometimes when you're going a different path, that's not going to align with theirs. That's completely fine. You just enjoy the moment that you have with them and you let them fall away if that's what's meant to be. So embrace that. Embrace that purpose that you're moving towards. Do everything you can to move closer to that and you will find the right people for you along the way. So overall, that's really my mental model around not giving a fuck about what people think. There's a couple of things we touched on there. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you want to kind of go deeper on some of these things we talk about on this channel, become the best version of yourself. I think you're really going to enjoy this video here. It'll walk you through some steps and how you can really make a big change in your life. See you there.